Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I'm not convinced you need to worry. Perhaps your uncle's been delayed, and surely he can take care of himself. That's exactly what Professor Weasley said when she forbade me from leaving the grounds to look for him. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record-keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Oh, Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself into? Could this be Mr. Oakes's campsite? Renrock's loyalists, just ahead. Should I take them by force or be discreet? Whoa. <laughs> Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Mr. Oakes's trade journal. Confringo! Revelio! Revelio! This looks intriguing. A rock formation? That's the first landmark on this map. I have to find the crooked tree. A crooked tree, just as the map said. 
Crumbling Tower shouldn't be far from here. Revelio. Confringo. Crucio. Accio. Revelio. Any who oppose Ranrock will be eliminated. And the crumbling tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. Revelio. What do we have here? Can bring up. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Revelio. Arresto momentum. Defender. Imperio. Crucio. A ladder. That's what I need. Glacius. Bombarda. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Oh, little. Glacius. Confringo. Revelio. This is the spot on the map. I best have my hands about me. Expelliarmus. Revelio. What will we find in here? Revelio. Glacier. Bombarda. Leviosa. Expelliarmus. Come up here and fight me. Franrock has fooled you all. To your Revelio. Alohomora.
Lavioso. Expelliarmus. Glacius. Kunfringo. Rebellion. It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. One less follower, round. Rebellion. Can 
Freedom. Rebellion. Rebellion. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. my wand and wait you're a student oh we must get you to safety immediately it's dangerous it's all right mr oaks i've dealt with these goblins before dear merlin you're either very lucky or very talented well, how did you find me i'm a friend of adelaide's she was worried about your business with ranrock's loyalists oh she was right to be i couldn't go through with the agreement and when i told them i ended up blindfolded and behind bars been locked in that infernal cell for so long they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblin stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. 
I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Welcome, ladies and gents. Welcome to Devil's YouTube channel. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you like, consider to let a thumbs up. It really helps this channel. And if you don't like, you consider to let a thumbs down. Either way, if you like or you don't like, you can always comment on the comment section and give your feedback. It's always helpful. I'm always trying to improve the, my videos and my YouTube channel. So any help will be well received. And if you want to see future content, consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, it really helps the channel and really motivates me to go on. So once again, I will see you all on the next one. But until then, have a nice one.